There is no single moment of change in a society that has not come with pain. I am more proud than ever to see the younger ones doing what we could not do years before. We have the conviction, we have the resolve, all right? We shall get it. country we we, uh, uh, we, we, we. Sema, we 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 are ready to be changed yes all of us i have had a lot of people keeping asking these questions oh you have abandoned the hippocratic oath and what have you and what have you not when you preside over death you have broken the first law in the hippocratic oath do no harm the moment you agree to work in a facility that allows your patients to die because of lack of basic things, automatically you are a participant in causing death. And today 5,000 Kenyan doctors have said, look, we've had enough. Doctors! Hey! Doctors! Hey! Doctors! Hey! 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 Doctors! Power! Power! We are a teaching hospital. And we cannot teach our registrars the latest in medicine because we can't afford. Not that we cannot afford. Why? Because all our money we have landed together, 10 billion that we take to India every year, is enough to equip Kenyatta to the best that you can ever think. Today we are here as medical students from the University of Nairobi and other medical schools around the country to actually tell the government that as medical students, our training has been adversely affected. For you to be a medical student and later on to be a successful medical doctor, medicine is not learned in the library. Medicine is not learned by reading books. Medicine is learned by acquiring skills from the very people who've been here before you. And those are your consultants. And you also learn medicine from your patients because it's at the moment, at the time when you are being trained, you have to see the, the cases that are common so that by the time you become a doctor, you know what you, what you are doing. When I downed my tools at Kenyatta on the 5th of December, yes, I downed them. I did it with pride because I know even if you tell me to go back to day to Kenyatta as it is, I don't have a laparoscopic machine and yet I can get the same in all the nursing homes in Nairobi. A national referral hospital that does not have what it takes to take care of patients in Kenyatta. From 9 o'clock, and it's now almost 3 o'clock, and I mean, how many lives would we have saved? We go back. We want to go back, isn't it? My doctor, to Nataka Kushinda Hapa, Kwakiwanja, to Choma Naijua. No, we want to go back and do the work we were meant to do.
I lost my two parents due to late diagnosis. My parents oh, no! could be alive today and enjoying the fruits of their hard work to educate me to become a doctor today. This is a fight for better health care to save the many lives that I lost and that could have been saved if we had proper and functional public health care system in this country. This is not for the doctors. This is for you Kenyans. How can it be that when you start to speak for doctors, then the severest of punishments come unto you? That is injustice. And we as the doctors will stand against injustice. We, we, we. Okay? So, to the trade unions, there is a big message. I think the judicial system must, must find a way, and I hope that they go on a retreat, because they like, you know, government people like that. I hope they go on a retreat, and this is a very serious message, you media, that you have to get to the judicial system. You must find a way of sorting out workers' issues without suspending their strikes. Because the employers in this country have taken advantage of rhyming and hiding in the court without responding to issues of workers, some of them that are emergency. We have had doctors shot in the corridors of Kenyatta because there was no security in that hospital. Does it mean that the life of a doctor is worth much less than the life of the patient he was going to save? We have had Dr. Biri being shot in Mary. Dr. Mary was shot at Kihara because there's no security, there's no ambulance to take the doctor to the hospital to attend to patients. And when we say that you want to jail us, that's injustice. And we shall proudly walk into jail. And there's nothing as annoying as going to school for six years to become a neurosurgeon than to be told something as lousy as just a faucet is not available, and therefore you cannot use your skill. How insulting is that to the six years you put in school? How insulting is that? Hmm? There is no doctor who is wrongfully on strike. Don't tell me about the Hippocratic Oath. The only time I am bound by my Hippocratic Oath is when I'm sitting in front of a patient. Right now, I am not. So that does not apply. Let the Raya ask their governor, let them ask their minister, let them ask their president why they cannot access services. That is not in question. Doctors know what they are fighting for. It is very unfortunate that doctors are fighting for a community that does not even know what their rights are. The day they will understand, this field will not even have enough space to, to take care of them. Hmm? We are fighting for a noble cause. We're not going down in vain. Jail or no jail, we will all walk with our colleagues to jail. Let me tell you one truth they are not saying. The most expensive thing has nothing to do with their salaries. It has telling them the city scan must work. It is telling them reagents will never latch in this lab. Because the CBA gives you the mandate to stand up and walk out and say, I am not coming back to work until my work environment is conducive. <laughs> conducive means I will not do a surgery with one scrub nurse. Isn't it? So will they employ an extra 60,000 nurses? Yes. That's what the CBA is asking for, and that's the truth nobody is selling them. Hmm? That's what they don't want. They don't want to have the attendant costs of the so-called article 1, 2, 3, 4 that we have agreed upon. The reality is not the money. They bought a bunch of machines, spent 38 million, and those machines, billion, sorry, billion, and they're all rusting in the stores. It means that our 120 radiologists in this country must become at least 1,200, which means they must pay for this training. That is the fear they have about the CBA. That is the one they're refusing to let Mwananchi know when trying to crucify us and make us look selfish. 
in these sovereign states, these incarcerations will only make the situation worse and trigger more unrest even in the mission hospitals. When the leadership is in jail, let them know there is no negotiation. Every right thinking, every honest and every honorable Kenyan in their heart will be in jail with you because that is exactly what would have been done. After those 53 years, when we raised our voice in the strongest of ways that the Constitution allows, there are people who are violating the Constitution by taking us to jail for doing that. Shame. And for that, we want to tell the country, shame on you. Shame, shame on you. Shame. I think I want to speak very passionately to the justice system in this country. You cannot perpetrate injustice in the name of dignifying the court. There is no amount of dignity that comes to the court when you jail doctors who are speaking for the aspiration of Kenyans. It actually, there's no amount of dignity you get as a court. It, there's none, zero. Sasa wewe kamu natafta ishima by jailing doctors, I think you have lost cause as the justice system. Maombi metombea. Vita tumepiga. Nini mebaki? Mbura tuogope. I, a doctor in the Republic of Kenya, do solemnly swear that, swear that I, shall I shall protect my profession and dignity the same way I took an oath to protect the citizens of Kenya. So help me God. This doctor strike, we know, has come with lots and lots of pain for the millions of Kenyans who have also been abandoned by their elected leaders. But we tell you, the end shall be sweet for this society. You can jail the leaders. You can jail Oluga. In fact, not you can jail, you will jail them. <laughs> that is all. Shame. But if it solves out the problems of your health, of your Kenyans, of your voters, Jail them. So be it. We are ready. We are ready. I feel for the Kenyan. If you jail these ones, it's not going to bring back your doctors. It's not going to bring back your doctors. Please let it get to the correct offices. You can jail the people, but you cannot jail the resolve.